Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factor 2, a fantasy harvest moon. Like I said, we made it to the 19th. Safe and sound, mostly. Um, I am real quick going to cut away right here, and I'm going to show you everything that I felt like was necessary to show between like me ending the last episode and starting this one. So, let's go. Today our first shield will be the Platinum Shield. You'll need to have a round shield ready ahead of time. Continue forging the shield with some platinum. In total, you'll need two pieces of platinum. A hard horn and the grip will help carry the weight. You'll want to wrap the cloth with the giant's gloves. Finally, wrap it vertically with a quality cloth. Next, I'll teach you how to make a heavy shield. You'll need to start with a platinum shield and some iron and forge it into the shield. Add some iron and forge it into the shield. You'll need to use two pieces of iron. Next, add platinum to the shield's center. You'll need a hard horn for the grip. In the back of the shield, place an insect skin. The prism shield will be our next shield. You'll need to start it out with a magic shield. Add a spore onto its front side. You will also need a poison powder to reflect poison. For the same reason, you'll need to add a root. Use a plant stem for the grip. Just add a sparkle string and you'll be done. The tortoise shield is next. You'll need a platinum shield to work from as a base. Next, you'll use a tortoise shell on the top right part. You'll need another tortoise shell for the top left, and one more tortoise shell for the center. Now for the bottom. One tortoise shell will cover the left. Add the last tortoise shell for the lower right. The whole shield should be in the shape of a tortoise single shell. Next, I'll teach you how to make a bone shield. You'll need to start with a tortoise shield. You'll want to build on it with a skull. Another skull should make it even stronger. And use one more skull for good measure. Put a giant's fingernail in the center of the shield. And don't forget to use cheap cloth on the back. Alright, today we are going to begin with the night shield. First, you'll need a kite shield. As you forge the shield, work in platinum. You also need a wolf thing to toughen the shield. Add a proof. A proof of warrior will also help. For the edges of the shield, use an insect jaw. Finally, put a quality fur into the back of the shield. It will absorb attacks for you. Our next shield, the Chaos Shield, is pretty creepy. First, you'll need to have a bone shield. As you reforge the shield, use a strong insect jaw. You will also need to use a fish fossil. Next, you're going to shape the shield into the shape of a face. The eyes will be made from a poison powder. For the rest of the details, you can use a skull. Make the back of the shield from a quality fur. The kite shield will be our next shield. Start with a heavy shield. Forge platinum into the shield. To, to ornament the shield, you will need gold. A proof of warrior will help with that as well. Tightly wrap a cheap bandage around the grip. Finally, add a hood and you'll be done. The magical shield is highly resistant to magic. To make one, you'll be modifying the prism shield. Use gold to work the shield into a square shape. Inlay the center of the shield with a little crystal. You'll need to use fairy dust as well. Reinforce the shield with a shoulder piece. Line the edges of the shield with a scorpion pitcher. We're going to take a magic powder, a bird wing, silk cloth, fairy dust, sparkle string, and a devil horn to make the Art of Magic, level 76 recipe. Okay, we're going to take the Art of Magic and a hood to make the Art of Magic. Skill level increased. I'll keep this up. Alright, so here at the crafting table, we're going to be trying to make the Art of Defense. We're going to take one broken box, one silk cloth, one sparkle string, one tortoise shell, one iron, and one bird wing for a 37% chance at the Art of Defense. And from here out, I will be trying to use the Art of Defense upgrade with a 1% chance by taking the Art of Defense and Giant's Gloves. This will not be shown, but this is how I'm grinding up to the higher level. I didn't figure. Hey, Mom! Alright. Egg cooking. In this lesson, we'll learn some recipes that mainly use eggs. We'll start with a boiled egg. Simply put a small egg in a pot and boil it as soft or hard as you like. Next up is an omelette. The ingredients are simple, but there's a bit of a trick to making it. First, beat a small egg in a bowl. Add some small milk to give it a mild flavor. After that, cook it in a frying pan and it's finished. 
Fantastic. Next, let's try making some almond rice. You can use what we just learned. First, beat a small egg in a bowl. Add some small milk, then simmer it in a frying pan on over low heat. After a short wait, add some seasoned rice to it. Finally, flavor the rice with some ketchup. Next, let's make an egg bowl. First, mix a small egg in a pot. While simmering on low heat, add some flavor with onion. When it's ready, put it on top of some hot rice, then serve. Finally, we'll try making steamed bread. You wouldn't think so, but this also uses eggs. Let's start with some flour. Mix the flour with a small egg to make the batter. Steam the batter, then sprinkle it with honey to make it taste really delicious. Super Suppers I'll be teaching you slightly harder evening meal recipes today. First up is cabbage cakes. First, you'll need a small egg. Next, add some sliced cabbage. Then, add some flour. Finally, fry everything in a frying pan coated with oil. Next comes fried udon. Start by making the noodles using some flour. Next, coat a frying pan in oil and get ready to fry. Add some sliced cabbage next. Fry on high heat. Then, quickly add some sliced carrots in there. Finally, add some sliced onion. Fry everything together and you're done. Next is seafood pizza. Start by making the dough using flour. Make it round. Next, place some ketchup all over the dough. Monster. Next, evenly place some shrimp over the entire pizza. Monster. Then add some sliced squid. Boil it in advance to save time. Finally, add some small cheese on top, then bake to finish. Next is the gratin. It's not as hard to make as you'd think. Start with some small cheese. Start with some small cheese. This will go on top. Next comes some flour. Then add some thinly cut onion. Finally, add some orange grass. Bake it until it turns into a rich color. Finally, let's make some cheese fondue. Eating this will really make you feel like a grown-up. Start with some small cheese. Melt it in a pot. Then, when you eat it, dip in some bread. That's cheese fondue. Here at the fry pan, we're going to make fried fall flounder. We have a 64% chance we're going to take one daikon and one fall flounder. Fried fall flounder. Skill level increased. And here at the chemistry station, we are going to be making a Formula B. 19% chance, so not very likely, but I want to show it off. Yep. Formula B success. That is actually a good way to level up, so I will be abusing that. Just as a heads up. I'm going to be shipping a Formula B. Fertilizer speeds the growth of crops by two days. You'll see the difference one day after use. Fried fall flounder. Fall flounder salted than fried. The fresher the fish, the tastier it will be when it's cooked. And my courage badge. I've decided to retire it. 24 more magic attack and 6 more magic defense is really worth it. I'm losing on a 5 attack and defense, and I'm honestly fine with that at this point. And with that, we are back. Um, I don't remember every single thing, because it has been a couple weeks since I last really did a huge mount. But uh, I did do some prep stuff in the last couple days. So give me just a moment. So one thing I learned is that if you give Kyle a gift, I don't think it really matters what the gift is. Thanks a lot, Arya. I'm proud of you. I'm glad I could help. I want to give this to you in return. He seems to just always give you a boiled egg. Wow, thanks, Dad. At least once a day. So, neat. Yeah, it doesn't seem that Kyle actually has an affection rating. He's just your dad, and he's proud of you, unlike your mom, who absolutely has an affection rating. So, what's good? Okay, so before we actually get around doing anything, I'm going to start making something. Now, the level 44 recipe, Friendly Syrup, requires one cooking, one cookie, one donut, and some gold. Now, the cookies can be purchased straight up from the store. Donuts are actually fairly easy to make. Uh, the recipe is right here on screen. And gold you can either mine for, or you can get with your monster via Inquisitive Waltz. So, I'm going to take a donut, a cookie, and some gold for the 10% chance at. I said the 10% chance at... No. Dang it. Friendly Syrup. Skill level increased. Now... The friendly syrup is something that is not too hard to make. It's fairly inexpensive. 
and is a really good grinding item for this level. So I figure I'd make a few of them. There we go, another one. That puts our pharmacy already over halfway there to the next one. Nice. And another one. Skill level increased. There we go. Skill level increased. There we go. Alright. He was nice enough to give this, so let's eat the boiled egg. That got us 15 HP and 2 RP. Great item. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Yikes. Um, I mean, we're like two-thirds or so of the way there to the next thing. So, I will be taking care of the rest of these off-screen, I guess. But you know what I'm doing with all these materials now. So, yeah. And while I'm getting some more RP, let's go mining. Really, none? That's rough, buddy. Alright, so unfortunately, I did not get any gold from Padova. I will be trying to get some gold from other spots as well later, but I figure let's start the festival. Morning. Hi, Arya. Morning. Hello, Arya. Your daddy came back. That's great, Arya. Yeah, I'm glad he's back. I love holidays. I want to relax and read a book. Today's the dance festival. Are you a good dancer, Arya? Girls would rather be asked out than have girls would rather be asked out than have someone ask them out. Than ask someone out. I'm reading is hard. <laughs> good morning, Arya. I heard that your dad came back. That's great news, Arya. I'm so happy for you. A small creature called a beetle shrimp has taken a Okay. I think being close to someone special is just a wonderful thing. I really do. Today's the dance festival. You plan on inviting in one, Arya? Are you excited for the festival, Kyle? Still not my name. Dancing is a lot like fourth sword fighting, you know. Both require grace and fine footwork, but sword fighting requires a lot more chopping. The dance festival, do you like to dance, Arya? I just love dancing. Today's the dan- Today's the dance festival! It's fun with your body round. Are you gonna dance, Arya? Maybe I'll dance in a bit. If you change your mind, we can still dance together later. Today's the dance festival. Are you going to dance with anyone, Arya? Today's the dance festival. Arya, are you good? Are you good at dancing? Today's the dance festival. Are you inviting anybody? It's the dance festival today. It's customary for couples to dance together. All right. Today's the dance festival. Are you going to go? Today's the dance festival. You were going to ask out, little human. The dance festival reminds me of younger days. Today's the dance festival. Who are you gonna ask out, Arya? Today is the dance festival. When I was younger, I used to go around asking all the girls to dance. Dance festival. You kids are too young for that. There's no dance festival today. I guess it's not really meant for kids. I mean, apparently it's fine. It's the dance festival today. How about you try inviting someone too, Arya? It's the dance festival today. Are you gonna invite anyone, Arya? It's the dance festival. How will you try inviting someone special to you, Arya? Morning. Morning. I think your father's just like you. I don't have time for games now. It's the dance festival tonight. I never see anyone dancing the rest of the time, and yet they'll all dance tonight. Why is that? You aren't dancing, Orland? If I have a change of heart, I may join in later. Today's the dance festival. Do you like dancing? Yep. Hey, Lionel? Do you like dancing? Dancing's so fun, I like it too. Alright. So, I'm going to show what each of them are like when dancing. Give me just a moment. Come dance with me. Is that an invitation? I'm so happy. Let's dance. Let's dance, Lionel. Yeah, let's do this.
<laughs> I had fun, Arya. You're a good dancer. Really? I thought you were good, too. I had fun. Yeah, me too. Thanks. I'll see you around, Arya. That puts us here. But maybe that never happened. Maybe you chose someone else. Dance with me. You want to dance with me? Sure, we can dance together. Let's dance, Roy. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. You were good, Arya. You surprised me. Really? You danced well too, Arya and Roy. You danced well too, Roy. I had fun. Heh, <laughs> me too. Bye, Arya. And this would put our relationship like this. Seven, seven, and six. But what if that never happened? Morning. It's the dance festival tonight. Do you want to dance with me? Oh, <laughs> you want... You want to dance with me? Sure. Get ready, then. Let's dance, Orland. Sure. You're not half bad, Arya. I didn't know you could dance. <laughs> You're not bad yourself. Yeah, I'm alright. Well, I'd better go now. See you around. And that would... Leave us at 7, 7, and 6 once again. It seems to just give you some friendship and affection. Maybe not a whole level, but some as well. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with this being the canon route I went for. One person I never actually talked to about the day. Morning, Morning Arya. Morning, Dad. Today is the Dad's Festival. You're going to invite someone, Arya? And that's all he has to say. But it was nice. I believe now I've spoken with everyone. So that is pretty much everything this festival has to offer. The next festival is actually the 25th, a full week from now. We have Jake's birthday, which I've actually shown off in the past, and Alicia's birthday, which I've also shown off in the past. There's not a huge amount left to do in the game. A lot of this is going to be just me jumping from time to time and actually trying to get everything together. Kind of a last-minute close-up. I know I haven't covered Eren's side of this festival yet, and I've considered how I want to do it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have an Eren episode, where I cover everything you can do as Eren just to make him his own separate video. I will be showing off the relationship stuff with him. I will be showing off exactly what you can do with him. And you might be like, oh, I'm already finished with this episode? No, uh, I, this, yes, I could probably consider this like a half hour episode, maybe-ish. But I don't really need to. Instead, I'm going to cut the video here. I'm going to take care of some stuff and I'll come back tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll come back and we'll do the second half of this video. Where I go in and I grind out a bunch of stuff. I take care of some requests. And I just keep progressing. We're in the last little stretch of this, so if you give me the time, I'll show you the rest of the game. I'll see you in just a moment. Give me a few hours.
All right, and it is the next day, both in game and in real life. I actually decided to just finish up what I was doing that day and just take another day off to work on some stuff last night, play some games and just chill for a bit. So I'm a bit more energetic than I was. All right, so now that it's next day, let's work on some stuff. I actually realized one thing. I should probably ship this. Friendly syrup. Syrup that everyone loves. The recipe is great. Give it as a gift to become better friends. So, yeah. There we go. That is on the ship list. Yeah, this one's easy. Douglas. Can someone deliver this thing? I need someone to make a delivery. Come over if you're free. We'll take care of that in just a couple hours. So, in the meantime, I'm going to real quick... I'm actually going to check what else we have here. So we have the rematches between Bane Dragon and Crystal Mammoth we haven't done. I'll see if I can do that today. It may be a tomorrow, like the next episode kind of thing. Because I do feel like I need better equipment. I almost died during the Octopirate battle. So I need something from Gordon and something from Roy. Good to know. Good to know. So essentially what I've been doing for a while to try to get gold is just coming up here and using Inquisitive Waltz repeatedly. It's not super entertaining, but it is a pretty reliable way. So I'm going to use up whatever energy I have right now, and then I'm going to go mining in both Padova as well as uh, the Shrine, and then I'll meet you over at Douglas's. For example's sake, so 18, 24, 33, 34, 36, out of the 38 attempts I just did there, I only got 4 gold, so around 10% of the time. It's definitely not the best use of your time, but it was a good thing. It's a way to, for me to get gold, so I'll do it, I guess. Well, this morning was the Nintendo Direct, just as a heads up, it's uh, August 27th, and more info was shown about uh, the new Rune Factory game, Guardians of Azuma or something similar to that. And I'm pretty hyped about that, to be 100% real with you. Um, I really am excited to play a new Rune Factory that's hopefully better than Rune Factory 5. Hopefully they learn something. Um, I did see Hina on an airship for a moment, so shout out to returning, running, bleh, returning character. I also don't know why I just broke that. Um, and it is actually recognizing that there's two protagonists, which means that we might get some better integration of both the male and female protags. I'm curious how it's all going to go, but currently I just, I'm hoping for this franchise to keep improving, and I'd love for maybe a remake of Rune Factory 1 and 2 at some point. What I'd love is a remake of Rune Factory 1 and Frontier as a, like, two-part game, like, them fully connected into each other, and Rune Factory 2 being its own standalone thing, because the biggest issue when it comes to storage in this game is that leveled stuff doesn't stack together. So I'm having to, like, I essentially have, like, a quarter of the inventory I actually would have if everything stacked correctly. It's kind of a bummer, but it's how it is, really. I'm just, I'm looking forward to the future. I'm not regretting the past. I'm enjoying these games for what they are, and I'm hoping that maybe someday we'll get more. We'll get better and better, and they may give the love to this series that really deserves. So, yeah, it's kind of how I feel about it. Thank you, Dragmire. Hey there, Arya. Would you give this here Embry Flout a ray for me? Sure. I've got a special reward for you if you do. Thanks much. Receive the Emery Flower. We know what an Emery Flower is, but just for the sake of showing it. You know, a completely gold flower, very hard to grow, making it a very rare and special sight. It's worth 15000 all by itself, and it is someone's loved gift, pretty sure. I'm not sure. I, I'm thinking it might be Dorothy, but I'm not 100% positive. Also, it's morning. Where am I going? You here? Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. I asked Douglas for this. I thought it could brighten up the clinic. Thanks for bringing it over. Be sure to thank Douglas for me, will ya? I, I see you gave it to him. Thanks. Well, here's what I promised ya. You got a missing page, too. Give this to Amanda when she's at the school, and she'll fix it up one of your magic books for you. Thanks. So which magic book is it? It is for medication, so I can finally finish that off. Cool. Speaking of school... 
All right. Next. 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 Medication. You want me to repair the me medication book? Okay. You found the missing page. This won't be any problem then. La 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 la. Here we go. Good as new. The medication magic book. Thank you, teacher. Don't mention it. Yeah. Okay. And do we have anything new? It's Monday, so I don't believe so. But, yep. No, we're done. Okay. Medication. Status ailment magic. Cures you and your allies, too. Has been restored to its maximum power. So, it's a cure-all. I don't 100% remember what the difference is between this and the previous tier. Uh, future Gabe, maybe right now? If I don't remember, I don't remember. But I can at least Google it if I don't. <laughs> okay. I have a secret plan from Roy. I have a secret plan. Come and talk to me about it. What's up? I saw your post on the bulletin board. Oh, hey, Arya. Keep it down, okay? Huh? What's wrong? I did put it up on the board, but I want it... I want to keep this a secret as much as possible. A secret? A secret, yes. Let me explain. I want to sneak into school tonight. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? You'll come too, right, Arya? Uh, what if we get caught? <laughs> You're scared, Arya? No, of course I'm not scared. Fine, count me in. Great, I knew I could count on you, Arya. Is anyone else coming with us? Cammy wanted to, but it doesn't look, to, doesn't look like she can come tonight. So it's just me and you, Arya. Okay. Don't get, don't go getting scared now that you know it's just going to be you and me. Of course not. All right, then we'll meet at 9 p.m. tonight outside the school. Remember to come, Arya. All right, and now we have a mission. So I guess for the moment I can go down here and I can go mining. Hey, Dragmire, I'm going to need you. So first I go down here looking for any earth crystals I might be able to get. That's water. Scrap. Scrap, scrap, wind, wind, scrap, and earth. Cool. Then up here, I go down this staircase, and I look for any gold I might be able to find. This is pretty much what my daily routine has been. Trying to get gold and earth crystals, because both of them are necessary for different recipes. As you can see, I'm not super lucky, but I at least got one, so not terrible. Alright. Now in the Blessia Caves, we're going to be trying to go for giant gloves. And Dragmire is focusing the wrong thing. Ooh, first glove, nice. So, I'm going to do this until 6pm. Give me just a moment. Okay, so it is evening now, and as such, I cannot continue grinding for these, but what we're going to do, where are they, is we're going to keep grinding this out. Art of Defense. Forty-six percent my butt. Skill level increased, finally. Now it's a 55%. Okay, we're getting around two letters worth now for each successful one. Fifty-five percent my butt. Skill level increased. Alright, Friendly Syrup has a 77% chance of succeeding, so let's make these. With a 55% chance... There we go. Skill increased. Skill level increased. Alright. That puts us at pharmacy level 41. Which means we can do as high as level 51 recipes now. Good, good, good. 
mind you, not the best way to grind, but like, you know. Actually, water crystal, fish fossil, strong vine, earth crystal, fair. Yeah, it still requires the elemental crystals. That requires roots, which I could grind out. And a uh, fire crystal. All right, I was just checking what would be the best thing for which. All right. Glad to have all that. We'll meet at 9 p.m. tonight inside the school. Don't forget to come, Arya. Yeah, you just got here early, I guess. <laughs> You're here, just as you promised. All right, let's go. Just follow me, Arya. As if I don't go in the school all the time, all by myself. I made a secret passage so we can get inside. Wow. All right, in we go. This would make a lot more sense if the door was locked. Heh, <laughs> we made it in. I can't believe we're doing this. It's so exciting. Well, let's go to the classroom. Go ahead, Arya. Open the door. Why do I have to? You're not scared, are you, Roy? <laughs> no, of course not. Ladies first, that's all. Come on, it'll be fine. There, I opened it. It looks like nobody's around. Let's go inside. An empty classroom. It kind of feels strange, huh? Yeah, this place feels really different at night. Actually, it's kind of scary. I knew you'd be scared, Roy. Just a little. Wham. What was that? Yeah, I knew it'd be Barrett. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot materials. Materials for class. Hmm. Why is this door open? Is someone here? Oh no, it's Barrett. What are we gonna do? He's gonna catch us. What? You two. What do you think you're doing sneaking around here at night? Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's nothing wrong with having a healthy sense of curiosity, but prowling the school in the middle of the night is taking it a bit too far. Uh, I don't know what to do with you two. What the heck were you two even doing here? We weren't doing anything. We just want to see what it would be like to go inside school at night. Please believe us. And you, Arya? I wasn't doing anything. It's just like what Roy said. I guess I'll believe you two. Look, it's late, and I'm sure your parents are worrying about you. Go on home now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you two like school that much, I hope you'll start acting like it in class. We're sorry. We're sorry. Uh, sorry again. Uh, sorry again, Barrett. Blech. We got caught, darn. When he spotted us, I didn't know what to do. It was so exciting, but next time we'll have to sneak in better so we don't get caught. What, next time? Sorry, I'm done sneaking to buildings. He'll be furious at us next time if we get caught. What are you talking about? Come on, it's fun, it'll be an adventure. You'll have to help me again next time too, Arya. No, no more sneaking around at night for me. Oh, oh well, thanks for today at least. Yeah, it was fun. See you later, Arya. And that was the event. So, yeah. Simple but fun. Curiosity. This is where I attack by four, but up my defense by seven. I think I'm actually going to swap out my Hachimaki finally. Our defense. A scroll detailing the secrets of defense. You know. I figured these two by themselves will be enough to actually give me a good boost. I'll take a lot less from magic damage and from regular damage. So, good to know. Uh, honestly, I may as well ship this now. Hachimaki, the Far East equivalent of Bandana. Wrap it around your head and be filled with fighting spirit. I'm pretty sure I've already shipped that before, but, you know, has been a kind of part of my inventory for a very long time. Alright guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factor 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon.
I'm going to be cutting ahead. I think it's the 25th is the next festival. So we'll actually start on that day. Um, I will grind us up until we are probably pretty much able to like do the final recipe. Once we've done that final recipe, I'm, I mean, I think I've passed up some recipes, but I'm pretty much done with the accessory making, which is really nice. Beyond that, I need to, I need to figure out what I need to make. Um, a lot of the food recipes are actually fish-based recipes that I just can't do during the summer. So we'll start on those next season. Uh, some of them I could probably do. I'll figure it out between episodes. I'm going to be shooting for one episode of Rune Factor 2 a week. So that we'll be done with this in just a few days. So we'll take care of you know some more crafting next episode. We'll take care of the next festival. And we'll probably take care of at least one more of the boss quests. I'll see you all next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.